Hey everybody, I'm Joey Evans. And I'm Mike Delicio. Yes, he is. <laughs> We're doing a pick six together, Mike. Joey, I'm excited. This is my first time doing a pick six with you. And let me tell you, <laughs> hours of research. He, 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 I took this very seriously. He just did it right here, <laughs> five seconds ago. <laughs> That's because his, his brain is like an encyclopedia of games. I didn't want to be the one to say it, Joey. Ah. Glad you did. So this is pick six. This is where we pick six games that are similar to a certain game, and today it's King of Tokyo. Yeah, King of Tokyo, you know, kind of a sensation when it first came out, and this game has had legs, all right? It's been yes. popular for years. There have been a number of expansions, some different editions of it, but this Richard Garfield game has really become an evergreen. And this one for you is like a quick pull. When I was mentioning Pick 6, you're like King of Tokyo. Yeah. Because this is one that really, it's like gamers, non-gamers, everyone yes. will just play King of Tokyo. 100%. You know, and there are so many monsters for this game. It's insane. Yes, yes, yes. yes. It's great. Yeah. Yes. Just the regular ones, and then you've got all these promotional ones that are out there. Dice and Tower ones. That's right. There are some uh, Dice Tower exclu exclusives. But yeah, yep. it's, a, it's a really good game. Like you said, wide appeal. Right. Now, now the whole thing with Pick 6 is we're not going to get direct copies. You're going to see some of these like, well, that's not similar at all. Well, there's one part we're going to pull and say this game if you like this aspect yeah. of that. Otherwise, you're just playing the exact same game with a different skin. Right. And that's not yeah. what we're trying to do. We're saying, hey, if you like this, hey, you might like these for these reasons. Right. Right. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So these are six games to try if you like King of Tokyo. Okay, so for my first pick is what I said we're not doing. I am exactly doing. This seems like a reskin of it, but it's got a few small differences, and this is Battle of Gods. Battle of Gods is a very, very similar to King of Tokyo. Um, some of the differences are uh, there's a kind of more of a map you move around. There are things mm -hmm. you do on the map. And also, there are minis. Because King of Tokyo is one that people really wish you had minis. Yeah. And there are minis. And the minis in King of, to or the King of Tokyo monsters aren't very asymmetric unless you use the evolution abilities right. of things. Power-up cards. Right. But in Battle of Gods, there are. Yeah. You know, they're very... You get those power-up cards and also the way you attack. It feels very thematic. And, of course, the minis just look gorgeous on, on the board. Oh, I bet. Yeah. yeah. So this is great. And I, I love the upgrade mechanic. I love the... Of course, the Yahtzee dice rolls is still there, and the way you kind of shoot for the moon on different things to activate. Mm. And have you played this? No, I haven't. This is one I have not played. I've seen, you know, videos that, that right. Tom and that maybe you may have been part of them as well. Um, and it looks good. I can see why they, there would be a connection here for sure. It is, yeah. So it's so if you like King of Tokyo, try this out. Battle of Gods. All right. So my first choice here is going to be Dice Throne. Nice. All right. Now. Okay. The reason why I'm kind of pulling this one in towards King of Tokyo, there's a couple of reasons why. Number one is that, actually, as apparently there is in Battle of Gods, too, is that there's that Yahtzee rolling mechanic that so many people are familiar with, right? You're rolling right. dice, you have a chance to re-roll yep. a couple of times. So that's in here. Also... This is a game that has so many different types of characters. Yes. Right. So, you know, even Marvel-themed characters mm -hmm. and things like that. But there are also monsters. So if you like monsters from King of Tokyo, you'll find them here. You'll also find, in addition to the dice rolling, you're going to be using cards. Now, they're going to be more impactful, I think, than the power-up cards are in King of Tokyo. But it definitely has, you know, some similar feels to it. Right. It's kind of an aggressive head-on type of a thing, which you definitely are doing at King of Tokyo. Um, I would say Dice Throne is probably best as a head-to-head -head thing, but you could play it multiplayer like like you do in King of Tokyo. And, yes. And there is an upcoming King of Tokyo duel coming out, too. I have so, heard of that. I'm excited. Yeah, that, that, that could be even more of a direct corollary with uh, right. Dice Throne. But yeah. Dice Throne, I think, gives you some similar feels. And Dice Throne also has the adventures you can go into after that, right? That's correct. That's a that's a cooperative thing, but yeah, you can go into that afterwards as well. Yeah, which yeah. I have not tried that. Yeah, it's good. good. It's yeah. good. It's a good one. So there you go. All right, next up, Joey. Yeah? What is it? I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm going to close my eyes so I can hear it. Okay. I can feel it. All right, I want you to feel this, Joey. I really, <laughs> really want you to feel this. So, King of Tokyo, it's probably considered a kaiju game, right? It is indeed. It's considered a kaiju game. Yeah. What is the most iconic, the most powerful, mm -hmm. the most devastating, oh, the most world-known kaiju of all time? Minus one, the game. That's correct. Yeah. Godzilla Tokyo okay. Clash. 
This is um, a game from Prospero Hall, mm -hmm. and it was part of the Funko Games lines that they were doing. And it's a game where you are kaijus, right? You're either Godzilla, you can be Mothra, Mothra, you can be Ghidra, and you're moving around this map of a city that has like little 3D building construct cardboard, right? So mm -hmm. they're not really, they do have minis for the monsters, right? Right. And um, you're stomping around a city and you're attacking the other kaijus and you're throwing cars at, at buildings. That's the best and, part. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's just a very, very... Kind of silly dice chucking type of a thing, and it, and it really has some of that vibe of King of Tokyo, which is really just like, you know, all out aggro. You know, yeah. ah, I'm gonna get it. You know, you're you're just like getting into the feeling of being these big monsters. Tokyo uh, Clash, Godzilla Tokyo Clash, also gives you that feeling of being a kaiju stomping around, attacking anything in your range. And it's really well produced, too. It really is. The buildings and the monsters and everything mm -hmm. in this just, you really feel like you're just, number one, you're attacking everybody else. Yeah. Number two, you are just wrecking a city. <laughs> you are just wrecking <laughs> havoc. Yeah, yeah. Yes. It's like uh, Man of Steel in Kaiju version, right? Where you're just destroying everything in the <laughs> yes. city. No civilians killed. No, no. Yeah, of course not. Wink. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was very happy to see this on your list. This yeah. is a great one. And it's kind of flown under the radar, too. So. It has, yeah. yeah. Let's check this out. Okay, so we're going to step out of the whole realm of monsters right mm. now. And we're going to go, we're going to stay competitive. If you like that competitive nature on this, this one is one I think went under the radar. And this is Fire Tower. Mm. This is Fire Tower where you're pretty much, you want your Fire Tower to be the last one standing. And the fire starts in the middle, and you get to, the wind is going to push. Only dice roll happens with this with the wind, mm -hmm. when you change the direction of the wind. And you're going to push that fire towards different people across the board. Yeah. You also have cards to mitigate, where you can have airdrops, you know, to put the fire out. You can then spread the fire yourself, the flare cards. Or you can put up, like, kind of walls to block the fire from hitting your area. Yeah. This... This game, really, first of all, I think it looks great out there. The little fire crystals that go and spread it around. <laughs> and Mike's not a huge fan of this <laughs> <No>. game. <laughs> Particularly the look. But yeah, this okay. Is, and it's also, it's not full take that, but really King of Tokyo. Yeah, that's true. It's King of Tokyo, you feel like it is a very take that, be aggressive game. But if you're the aggressive person, generally you won't win. Yeah, you're going to be you're going to be crushed by the point guy, and everyone's beating each other up. Same thing with with Fire Tower. That's right? exactly yeah, it. yeah, yeah. So if you like the competitive, you like that back and forth. This is a quick game. It's really fun, and I think it's it's enjoyable. I think it looks great on the table. Mike is wrong. We so, can agree to disagree. Yeah, I'm I want the uh, Smokey the Bear expansion. Yeah, I'm sticking Mike in the tower. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so this one, back to monsters, Mike. Let's get back to monsters. Yeah, this one you can have monsters. I want monsters. Or pirates. Pirates? Or ninjas. Ninjas. Or grandmas. Okay, I'm yeah. in. I, once you said, once you went grandma, I am fully mm -hmm. on board. You can do it all. This is Smash Up. Mm -hmm. Smash Up, again, if you like that competitive style play, and instead of really attacking each other directly, you're more going after bases out there in the center and you're moving around. The reason I like this is because it, first of all, it's the, it's the, again, the competitive feel mm. that you get with King of Tokyo, but the factions, they're all extremely asymmetric. Yeah. And because of that, they're probably brutally unbalanced, you know? <laughs> yeah, just, but everybody's unbalanced. So everybody's matter, If yeah. everyone's unbalanced, everyone's balanced. That's correct. That is a Mikeism. Sure. So, yeah, we're going to make that up. But it's a, <laughs> it's really good. You can grab whatever you want to, put them together, and you're going after the base. It's very quick. You're just trying to get that base to break at a certain point. And I think this flows really well. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I think that you're even though, uh, like you're saying, it's not necessarily head-to-head -head you're going after the base, it, it still feels head-to-head. -head. It it's like a, It's almost like a lane battler, right? Yes. Yeah, and, and, and I think that the tone of this is perfectly tied to Tina Tokyo. That has a very similar tone. It has a very similar kind of just anachronistic, wild, right. go crazy type of a thing. You know, a sense of fun, basically, for sure. It is. And you're right. You're going after the bases, but you're also going after the people on the bases. Right. Like, oh, that guy that's 11 for you, he's now a three. Yeah, exactly. You know? And yeah. it's just, it's so fun back and forth, that give and take. So mm. this is great. Try this out. And it's, you know what? Again, staying power. Yeah. This game's been around for a while. Yep. So many iterations, so many expansions. This is Smash Up. All right, Joey, let's uh, finish up this pick six, this shall is we? It. It's going to be hard to follow those first five picks. It's impossible. Because they were all straight 
Fire Tower. Ah, I right? put a tower. Am I was right? going to say tower. Yeah. Yeah. Too right. bad. You got got. All right. Uh, all right. So I'm going with a game that probably, in some ways, I think it's the closest comparison to yes. King of Tokyo, and in other ways, I think it's the furthest. I agree. It was funny. I agree. That's exactly. Yeah. yeah. So the game I'm talking about is Terror in Meeple City. <laughs> now, I must say that when I got it originally, it yep. was called Rampage. Ooh, with the rock. And, uh, yeah, and then you had to, they had to change it for IP reasons, yeah. the old video game Rampage, which is basically what this game is. It is. Um, the reason why it's close to King of Tokyo is that it's all about the kaijus, right? I it's, agree. It's yep. all about... Going out there and and fighting with your big monsters, yep. right? And you're you're um, you're just stomping around, causing all kinds of havoc, right? But the reason why it's furthest away is that it's not a card dice game primarily. It's a dexterity game, right? Right. So what you're doing in Terra Meeple City is you are literally flicking things to move your kaiju. And you've got these buildings that are constructed of different cardboard layers with meeples in between to hold them up. And so you have different ways of kind of destroying the city. What you're trying to do is just wreck this city, Meeple yep. City, apparently. And you're doing it a couple of different ways. You can blow over some of these things. Uh, you can uh, pick up your kaiju and drop it. Or there's also vehicles around you can pick up and drop on the buildings. Mm -hmm. um, and then you're going to be collecting the meeples that, that come out. It's just... Pure it really is. chaos. It is. It is absolutely silly. It leans into the the monsters destroying a city thing. Um, and so, like I said, in some ways, it's very close to King of Tokyo. Right. In other ways, it's not. But I do think that there's enough there that you should probably, if you do like King of Tokyo, this is at least one to check out I and agree. see. You'll know right away. You see one picture of this game. You'll know right away if it's for you or not. So and, it, and it's unique. It's a very unique yeah, game. Yeah, yeah, it really is. So yeah. there you go. I think that's going to close it out, right? That's the that final it. one. That is uh, Terror in Meeple City. Yep. So if you guys have any other one that's like King of Tokyo, I know because it's so well loved, everyone has other ones that will kind of lead people into other ones. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So comment below. Let us know what you find is a great one if you like King of Tokyo. Yeah. So that's it for us. Join us later here on the channel. I'm Joey Evans. I'm Mike Delicio. Go destroy cities. Mm. Hey folks, thanks for watching another one of our videos. If you like our videos, if you like our channel, you would love to game with us at one of our conventions. Check out Dice Tower Cruise, Dice Tower East, and Dice Tower West. Fantastic conventions where we play games with wonderful people, a humongous library, and lots of other events and stuff. Also, don't forget to check out our channel, like and subscribe. I'm Tom Bassel.